Good morning children. Today we shall learn about temperature and how to measure the temperature. We often say the soup is hot or the ice cream is very cold. But have you ever wondered what makes the soup hot or the ice cream cold? Some objects are hotter than the other like the soup on the left side is hotter than the soup on the right side. Some objects are colder than the other like this ice cream is colder than this cold drink. So what makes things hotter or colder? When you get fever your body becomes hotter than the normal. To know how hot your body has become your mother puts a thermometer in your mouth or under the arms. Temperature is the quantity that tells us how hot or cold an object is. So the temperature is degree of hotness or coldness of a body or a place. Like the boiling water is very hot as it has high temperature and ice cream is very cold as it has very low temperature. When we put a pot of water on the stove and heat it, its temperature rises. The heat is form of energy and it is the cause of temperature. It means temperature is an expression of heat energy. Hot water becomes cold when it releases heat. So cold water has lesser heat energy than the hot water. Thus. Coldness is caused by the absence of heat energy. Thus, when heat energy flows into the body, it warms up the body. And when it flows out of a body, it cools the body. Now, how to measure temperature? When we touch an object, we can say whether it is hot or cold. The sense of touch can estimate the temperature but we cannot rely on the touch for the right measurement of temperature. Besides, we shouldn't touch things which are very hot like the boiling water as you may get burned. Hence, there are instruments to measure the temperature accurately which is the thermometer. Now, the thermometer is used to measure temperature but what is the unit of temperature? Just like we have different units to measure the length say inch, centimeter, meter etc. We have different units to measure the temperature. One of the unit of temperature is degree Celsius like the temperature on a summer noon was 41 degree Celsius. The normal temperature of a human body is 37 degree Celsius. When we have fever, it means our body is hotter than the normal. You must have seen or used the clinical thermometer used to measure the body temperature. If you look closely, you would find a scale starting from 94 till 108. Here, F is written besides the scale. F stands for Fahrenheit. This is another unit of temperature and our normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let us see the structure of clinical thermometer. It is made of long narrow uniform glass tube and it has a bulb at one end which carries the mercury. This mercury expands when we put the thermometer in the mouth or under our arms to measure the body temperature. On expansion due to the high temperature, the mercury proceeds through the narrow tube like a thread. Now how to read the temperature? Look here, the mercury thread has crossed 102 and has stopped at the third mark after it. There is, if we see the marking, after 102 
the marking is 104 degrees. So, 2 degree is divided into 10 parts. Thus, each part is 2 divided by 10 which is equal to 0 0.2 degree Fahrenheit. And thus, the third mark means 0 0.2 multiplied by 3 which is 0 0.6. So, we can say the temperature is 102 degrees plus 0 0.6 degrees which is 102.6 degree Fahrenheit. So, we look at the Fahrenheit scale on the thermometer to see where the mercury thread ends and this is the temperature reading. Like here, as we saw, the reading was 102.6 degree Fahrenheit. Now, if we measure temperature in Celsius, the normal body temperature is 37 degree centigrade. In the clinical thermometer, we can find a Celsius scale starting from 35 degree Celsius till 42 degrees Celsius. There are different types of thermometer besides the clinical thermometer. One type is digital thermometer which doesn't use mercury. We just put the digital thermometer's bulb in the mouth or under the arms or touch it with some object then the screen on it will show the temperature reading. The digital thermometer is easier to use and measures the temperature accurately. Now you may wonder, can we use the clinical thermometer to measure the temperature of boiling water? No, the clinical thermometer is just suitable to measure our body temperature. The temperature of living person cannot be less than 94 degree Fahrenheit. When the body temperature is less than the normal, it is called hypothermia. And when the body temperature is above the normal range, we call it fever. Increase in body temperature is called hyperthermia. On the other hand, and the chances of survival of a person are very less if the body temperature crosses 107 degree Fahrenheit. So, the clinical thermometer has a scale from 94 degree Fahrenheit to 108 degree Fahrenheit. But the temperature of boiling water is 212 degree Fahrenheit or 100 degree Celsius. So, if we put the clinical thermometer in boiling water, the mercury would not get the space to stretch inside the thermometer and it would crack the thermometer with the pressure. And hence, the clinical thermometer is not used to measure the temperature of boiling water. You know, the laboratory thermometer has the longer Celsius scale and hence it can be used to measure higher temperatures like 80 degree Celsius, 100 degree Celsius and so on. So remember children, what is temperature? The temperature indicates the degree of hotness or coldness of a body or a place. And the temperature is measured in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. And lastly, different types of thermometers are used to measure the temperature. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.